Hey, good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Check this out. I think we should make one of this. Yeah, well, hello from uh, frozen Canada. It's minus, you'll freeze your balls off. Uh, let's just pretend it's summer and everything is good. We can do whatever this is. Ambrosia maple. Size, I don't know, bigger than the cup, I guess. I have one here. Eh, it might work. You never know. Oh, I'm missing the uh, doohickey here. There you are. This goes in there. This goes in here. And that will go there. Crank it up. Is this thing big enough? Yeah. I use a spindle rough and gouge to bring this to round. And uh, then I had to make a tenon, which uh, I use a skew chisel for and um, on a peeling cut. And well, there's a bit of sound there because. Uh, I was too lazy to sharpen my skew chisel, but um, so if you hear any vibration sound, that's that's what that is. And for the shape of the actual um, of the actual cup, uh, I use a 40/40 gouge because again I was uh, I was feeling lazy. So this this is all sped up. I don't think there is nothing to be learned here because. Uh, this would have been better with either a spindle gouge that I couldn't find, I don't know where I put it. And a skew chisel will probably do a better job. Mind you, uh, I didn't get any terra whatsoever using a 40-40. Uh, I'm, like, I'm just very used to it. It's, the, it's my to-go, go-to, not to-go. It's my go-to tool, so I'm very familiar with it and I can make cuts, but I don't suggest necessarily to do it this way. So sometimes you can learn something from my videos and then this part, I don't know if it helps you. It like, I guess it shows that it is possible. Sometimes, uh, you know, you can do many things with few tools. You just have to get the hang of them. So I'm giving it a bit of a sanding and here I'm going to turn it around and, uh, drill out the inside I did uh, I didn't run the whole thing here and I try to speed up videos just for for the sake that you know they don't become a movie but uh, essentially I did use a smaller um, I started with this just enough I went about maybe three quarters of an inch and then I switched to a smaller one went all the way in and because this is like two and a half inch so if you're doing something like that, you're probably better off uh, stepping up from a smaller uh, Forstner to, to a bigger one. Here I'm measuring uh, what my outside needs to be. Uh, we're going to go with... Actually, this guy may be good for that. I use a box scraper to get to the shape that I need to be because it needs to be like a cone shape and I need to be as close as possible this was done a few times by the way I'm just showing like it looks like I nailed it the first time but now I talk about like six or seven times to uh, get it so don't think uh, you know I'm that good because I'm not and we all learn as we go here so um, I think it took like six or seven times of like stopping, checking, and because uh, I wanted to fit like fairly tight. So 
and uh, this is the uh, the last one that I did then I rounded off that edge because I wanted to be a seamless transition from the metal to the wood and sanded that up uh, I finish the base and uh, I give this a bit of a sand in too. I burn a little line at the bottom just for decoration. And then I use a parting tool and a bit of an angle. Actually, uh, I have to give it the angle after sanding. And um, yeah, that pretty much brings to the end of the actual turning part. What do you think? It needs a handle. We will go see Jim and make a handle. Here are my friends Jim Williams uh, at a shop. Uh, Jim is a hat maker. Um, if you, he does have a YouTube channel. I shoot a few videos for for him. His channel is Turning Trees. See if you want to check it out. But uh, he does an amazing job with uh, hats and stuff. So this is a bit of a tour of a shop and some of the stuff that it's working on. Um, I hang out there a lot, actually learn a lot. I don't take any lessons, but uh, you know, hanging out, you pick up a lot of stuff, which is good to hang out with other turners too. And uh, Jim has two one-way lathe. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been doing this for a long time. He does demos and uh, stuff like that so here he's uh getting ready and uh did the carpet i remove all the sound because of uh copyright he was playing music in the background while then we were chatting while he carved this but uh yeah that's uh he did it all the handle himself so that's the finished product the uh, handle was actually carved by my friend jim williams and right now it's got uh, three coats of sanding seal that I still have to give it a hand sanding and I'm gonna do lacquer on the outside because uh, it doesn't matter about inside because it's gonna have an insert, which it can be done with either epoxy or silicone. But essentially, I don't wanna push it all the way in because it doesn't come out that easy. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch up with you soon. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.